we are going to be doing a video on El Salvador. They have now made Bitcoin legal tender, legal currency. It has been passed by their parliament. But the fight is not over because the IMF is coming after El Salvador. This story has just gotten very, very interesting. First, the meme of the day, which is really a video of the day, and it's a good video, a happy video. It is the El Salvador parliament applauding as they pass the law to make Bitcoin legal currency. Here's the tweet, the video tweet. I love the, the person that it comes from. Based, based France, Poland, hashtag, hashtag babies lives matter. And uh, has an icon as an avatar. Very cool Twitter account. <laughs> anyway, guys, here is the video from uh, El Salvador and the parliament applauding. Well, most of the parliament, these guys over here are not happy, it seems. They're not applauding, but most of the parliament is applauding. Anyway, the tweet says El Salvador passed the Bitcoin law. Lay Bitcoin is now a legal currency in El Salvador. Here is the president of El Salvador, Nayib Bukele. Bukele. The Bitcoin law has been approved by a supermajority in the Salvadorian in the Salvadoran Congress, 62 out of 84 votes, history, hashtag BTC. And uh, if you guys didn't notice, the El Salvador president has got laser eyes on his avatar. So he's all in. He's all in with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, a historic day for the world, because a lot of other countries in South America Central South America are actually now following in El Salvador's footsteps. And this is an interesting photo right here. The first tweet, the first tweet says hope. Bitcoin is hope. Hashtag Bitcoin law. The original tweet under that says we got this guys. El Salvador flag with Bitcoin. Hashtag Bitcoin. Lo logramos El Salvador. Hashtag Bitcoin. We did it. We did it, El Salvador. There's a photo with laser eyes as well. So this avatar also has laser eyes. And the photo is really interesting because it has a, a person, a vendor, a street vendor, right there with uh, soda, with their soda, refrescos. And um, on the side of that soda cart, of that refrescos cart, it says, we accept Bitcoin. Aceptamos Bitcoin. <laughs> so you can use Bitcoin to buy a, a soda in uh, El Salvador. And of course, you have the dog hanging out there saying everything's cool. Everything's cool in El Salvador. We're accepting Bitcoin. <laughs> a very cool photo. Now, that's the good news. That's the happy news. Those are the happy pictures and the happy videos, the laser eyes. But it was not going to be easy, guys. It was not going to be easy because the globalists are upset. You don't make a move like what El Salvador has done without upsetting the globalists. You don't move away, move away. You don't add Bitcoin to, uh, to the mix alongside the U.S. dollar without pissing off the globalists. In this case, the globalists at the IMF. Now, we know about what the IMF uh, tried to do to Belarus when Belarus wasn't on board the uh, COOF narrative. Well... Now that El Salvador has decided to uh, jump on board the Bitcoin train and, and buck the, the USD narrative, we have this title from Reuters. El Salvador's president's Bitcoin push casts shadow over IMF effort. You guys didn't think that they would let El Salvador off the hook that easily, did you? A push by El Salvador's president, Nayib Bukele, to make his country the first in the world to formally adopt Bitcoin as legal tender has sparked concerns about the outlook for its program with the International Monetary Fund. 
Bukele said on Saturday he will send a Bitcoin bill to Congress in days to come, touting its potential to help Salvadorians living abroad send remittances home. That bill has passed. We now know that it is uh, it has become law. Bitcoin is legal tender in El Salvador. But the IMF is pissed. They are pissed. El Salvador's top trade official said the U.S. dollar would continue to be legal tender, underscoring that Bitcoin transactions would be by choice and tied to the dollar exchange rate. This could further complicate the Central American country's quest to seek a more than $1 billion program with the IMF. In May, Bukele's party party strained relations with Washington when it ousted five Supreme Court judges and the top prosecutor. Trade and Investment Minister Miguel Catan said Bitcoin was already in limited use in El Salvador, even to buy Bupesas the national street snack. Quote, the ability to do operations with Bitcoin should not spark concern, Catan told a news conference. Oh, but it has sparked concern. It has sparked concern. They were not going to let El Salvador make a move like this without uh, without repercussions. So the IMF is going to is going to crack down on El Salvador. I believe they're not going to let them get away with this. No chance. So you see here that El Salvador actually ousted Supreme Court judges as well, and uh, looks like that pissed off the uh, the United States. So. Oh boy, buckle up, guys, buckle up. I don't think this is the end of this story. It looks like El Salvador is uh, making moves that will upset the uh, the globalists and the people in power. And, you know, well, regime change, folks, regime change. I hate to say it, but, uh, you know, we need to support El Salvador now. Other countries need to come forward and accept uh, Bitcoin because I think that the powers are, that be are not going to let El Salvador off the hook. Uh, let's see what else we have here. The IMF's head of mission for El Salvador, Alina Carreri, said late on Monday that the fund is following the news and will have more information as we continue our consultations with authorities. Carlos de Souza, a portfolio manager at Vontobel Asset Management, said the Bitcoin push looked ill-considered with Bukele potentially shooting himself in the foot by making the raising of tax revenue more difficult. Here's the quote. Cryptocurrencies are overall a very easy, a very easy way to avoid taxation and a very easy way to simply avoid the authorities because it's a completely decentralized system. You can do money laundering, you can do tax avoidance, and so on. He said, adding it reminded, it remained to be seen what the IMF thought of Bukele's foray. It remained to be seen what the IMF thought of Bukele's foray. Of course, they're spreading the, the, the BS claim that uh, Bitcoin helps money launderers and helps criminals, which is just completely ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. Anyway, that's from Reuters, guys. That's from Reuters. That's the news from uh, some IMF officials, some portfolio managers who are signaling that the IMF is going to uh, start pressuring El Salvador. Good news from El Salvador, the fact that it has adopted Bitcoin, but bad news with this, uh, this news about the IMF. Really bad news. Anyway, guys, that is the video Go to BitChute, go to Odyssey, go to SuperU, the free speech video platform, and look for the Duran, look for my channel, look for Alexander's channel on all those platforms and on our Locals community as well. Also, go to the Duran shop. 10% off when you use the code REALNEWS. All the links are down below in the description box. Take care.